This week on Number 6 with Cheese, we got $5 bottle openers and $5 pins in both gold and silver. So snag those up. They're good add-on items as well. But today, if you're here for the food review, we're headed to JT's Genuine Sandwich Shop. Getting a couple different things. I'm getting a Coney. You'll see what Corey's getting. So mine's, I guess, not a sandwich. And don't start that whole thing as if I have to. Anyways, uh, see you soon. <laughs> Alright, a couple of things from JT's acquired jump cut. Alrighty, time to take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. Alright, let's see what we got and uh, open this up and boom. Nice looking bun. What we got ourselves here is like a kind of a sloppy joe, I think. We got pickles, onions, ground beef, uh, but like shredded up, crumbled up ground beef, like not packed, like sloppy joe type beef. It just doesn't look like it's got the sloppy joe sauce. Not really sure exactly what it is, got ketchup and mustard. Um, I don't know, they call it their made right burger. So I'm excited to try it. All right, and then for me, this was a tough one for me because this menu looked awesome. It had so much stuff like a breaded pork tenderloin, a chicken sandwich, the burgers looked great. But if you have a Detroit style coney on the menu, it's very hard for me as a Detroit boy to not get it. Um, so here it is. Steamed bun, grilled dog, onions, mustard. All righty, JT's Genuine Sandwich Shop. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, oh my god. This is really good. Yeah. I've never had one of these before. Yeah. I've seen the loose meat dog before. Instead of a hot dog, there's meat in there. Never seen it on a sandwich, other than a Sloppy Joe. Have some more Sloppy Joes. <laughs> I made them extra sloppy for you. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Damn, I will say that uh, chili meat is great. I can't oh. believe they did this, but this bottom bun is like crisp to a point that it's like making a positive impact. Yeah, because I was going to say there might be a normally a texture issue there. Oh my god, it's like crunchy and delicious, like, like awesome. buttery crunchy. Mmm, this thing's pretty damn good. This is really good. I was skeptical. If that is ketchup, there's very little amounts of it. Maybe that's like their sauce or something. I was trying to find it. I had no idea what I was getting into going to this. This is right. amazing. Oh, I should say too, he's a fan of us. Oh, really? Yeah, well, he's like, hey, thanks for coming through. I uh, was doing research on Coney dogs and pork tenderloins and found you guys. Oh my God. Yeah. Two of the videos that we like actually got a ton of views on too, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. We had breaded pork tenderloin for the first time in Indianapolis and like Plums. that. Plump slash shot. This puts everything I think I've ever ate in my life to shame. One of the coolest videos mm. that we've done, got to go inside there and everything and like check it out. But man, that video has gotten some clips used in some different YouTube stuff. Like, it's really cool. If I'm obsessed with this. I'm so glad, that's so awesome. This is unlike anything I've gotten in Chicago. It's so delicious. I'm not a big pickle guy. I only keep pickles on a sandwich when I feel as though it's gonna have like an impact. Like I take them off of burgers usually like, I'll keep them on like uh, chicken sandwiches when I can tell it's like meant to be. Yeah. And so I kept it on here and it's making a hugely positive impact. That's incredible. This is like, I think I just drooled on myself. I think you just shot COVID everywhere. Oh my God. This is like uh, the LeVar Burton of pickles. Like I, who would have guessed that that person would be making such a big impact in a right. positive way in the world. Right. But here we stand, a bunch of people are reading because of that guy and a bunch of this burger is tasting good because of this pickle. Dude. That's an incredible analogy and an incredible sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. I want to apologize immediately. That's not ketchup. I think it's the grease from the coney sauce. It's so red. Mm. It's Vienna beef, natural casing dog, coney sauce, yellow mustard, diced onion, steamed bun. So I think it's, I've, okay, so in Detroit, there it's never so deep red like that that it resembles like a little bit of like ketchup. But on the top of this for a little while there, I thought that was like, so a red sauce or something? Oh yeah, Toledo's it's, chili will be that greasy. It's stained from the grease, which I love. Yep. So I apologize, I learned from my mistakes, and I'm obsessed with this. I don't know how this guy fries his buns, but this is the most insanely delicious bun. This is insanity. I'm so I am glad. so blown away at how good this is. I was assuming I was gonna be very critical oh of someone in God. Chicago doing a Detroit style Coney dog. This is so good, he nailed it. What the hell is this place, dude? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm pumped. Why is this place so freaking good? I'm not kidding you, that menu, Corey showed me the menu and I was like looking through it. 
I was so torn on what to get. I want to go back and get like five different things. Maybe in one of our live shows, somebody will pick this place and we can get a few different things. In the oh future. yeah, because it's just on Irving Park, so I'm, I bet it delivers, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, not too far. So for Detroit South Coney's in Chicago, we now got Lola's number one, JT's number two, and three Leo's. We're stocking up, dude. It's We're getting a good little list here. Which is pretty incredible that JT's is number two, because I don't even think they're like a Coney dog place. Right. They just, they're a sandwich shop that happens at Coney dog. They're just so amazing that they yeah. are great at that. They beat Leo's. <laughs> oh my God. It's, that, that's their thing. I'm over here picking up handfuls of loose meat. I was going to too, but I was worried you were gonna judge me. Look at me. I'm a little uh, alley rat boy, so this I is mean, kind of my life. This doesn't surprise me. I and mean, we make loose meat that's good. There's something about that term that's really off putting. Loose meat? It reminds you of a loose woman, don't it? It just, it doesn't sound great. Why are you loose, loose meat? meat? I think either your dick got uh, messed up in a cheese grating incident, Natural, or else, naturally. your lips hang low and they wobble to and fro. That's what I right. also think of loose wheat. That's the most delicate way I could think of saying that. <laughs> I keep spitting. I think you're just salivating from how good the sandwich I is. I just spit, spit loose meat into my arm here. What an unassuming little t uh, hot dog box too. Like, here's a hot dog. No, it's just gonna be absolute fire. The photo on the website, on like the ordering apps, is not far off from how it looks. That's hard to do. Well, great choice. We go to a lot of great spots. This is one that has climbed to the top of the list of me wanting to go ballistic on that menu. Yeah, try everything. Yeah, just an absolute fatty this mukbang. Is fantastic. And this is this is a great um, restaurant. If we're gonna eat something this good, I'm glad that I'm pitching a vlog this good to tell you guys to go watch. <laughs> I just dropped three banger vlogs last week. New comedy show that I'm running with Zacho at a Chop Shop, and I did a vlog that you could. You guys don't understand how much we don't deserve to be there. It's a legit <laughs> concert venue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like famous, I mean, famous people do perform there. Yeah. There is no world where me and Zach and Eric Freddy should be running a show there. We look like famous people. It's unbelievable. And we also have a YouTube channel for that called Digital Bits. We might be changing the name to that, but uh, where you can watch, we're putting stand-up clips on there. So you can watch Chicago stand-ups, go subscribe to it, it's awesome. And then I did like, I went to a bachelor party in Putin Bay, which is this wild party. You should definitely watch that. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Well Street Art Fest in Chicago and saw Big Suit, which is a cover band for Talking Heads. And then also went to my favorite bar of all time, uh, Old Town Ale House. Yeah. They're just a bunch of good bangers. Go check them out. They're awesome. My favorite, blah, blah, blah. Clip, my favorite clip from, I think it was the start of the art festival one when you were going back to Toledo, or back to Chicago, was like you were leaving and you were so either just hungover or tired or just like you had partied all night. You were like, guys, this place was, is yeah. awesome. Saturday, bachelor party was a success. Walking to the Miller Ferry so I can drive the five and a half hours back to Chicago. Your face was like swollen. I was like, this dude had a good night, dude. He had some partying. Yeah, oh go God. go subscribe if you haven't seen Corey's vlog channel and go watch those videos. I love the like back to back to back stuff because it really lets you in on someone's life and like really showing yeah. like sun up to sundown stuff is okay. dude it's Don't right now about. is like nuts with like how much you're putting out how much the show is putting out i'm putting out stuff like yeah if you As add if team. you add everything up and like you guys if you only watch the food reviews you're like i want to see him throw tomatoes out the window and that guy yell jump cut like the amount of sh stuff we're doing yeah between the two to of fill us, the hours it's like 12 videos a week between it's nuts man the two of us we should just put everything together into a catalog and sell it for like 100 bucks a month yeah for real everyone on streaming service mm -hmm. and don't forget to like this video if you want to immediately help our channel and this brand like the video uh, subscribe to our channel new videos every single weekday uh, pointing out banger spots like JT's and then today Corey would be a good comment for the folks so maybe we ask them about that just your experience with loose meat items yeah what's is this where is this <laughs> where, where are you guys from <laughs> where is this stuff originated from <laughs> Let me know. I'm very curious and I'm like blown away at how there's no way they're all that good or else they'd be everywhere. I don't know, man. But then again, uh, Toledo style pizza is that good and it's not everywhere. And uh, the guy obviously makes good choices because he knew who we were. Mm -hmm. He makes good choices in his viewing part of his life. <laughs> wow, that was the best fried bun I've ever had. My God. And you're not a bread guy. Anti bread guy. Anti bread boy. That's how you know. I mean, we could stop the review right now, but we'll we'll do the rest of this. Uh, let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out. Patreon shout out. Patreon shout out. That's right, guys. We've got a Patreon channel. It's an awesome way to not only get content early, but to help support the channel. You can also get discounts on merch. Hang out with us on a uh, Zoom call that we do with our Patreon folks once a month. There's a ton of awesome perks on there. Just go to the site, 
check it out. See what we got for you at patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Um, part of what I hope most gets people excited is they get to hear their name in a video because we give shout outs to every single person who signs up for Patreon. And uh, we're gonna do a couple of those people real quick. Give them the love that they so, so deserve. Patreon shout out name number one, one of the legends, Mr. David Black. Over there in Toledo, he went from $5 to $10. David, uh, in one of the videos in our Berry Bagels episode when we were back in Toledo, having an episode with Corey's mom, if you've never seen that episode, go see Corey's mom, Terry, and then go see David just hooking up the food, dude. So David, we love you. Thank you for all your support over the years and uh, excited to always talk wrestling with him whenever I can. All right. <laughs> and Patreon shout out number two goes to Mr. Slippy Joe. Slippy went from the $10 to the $35 tier so that he could tell us what to eat. Uh, he sent us over to Con Barbecue to try goat curry, which we did uh, just like a week or two ago. Yeah. Um, loved it. Yeah. And uh, love Slippy Jones. He's always on our monthly uh, Zoom hangouts that we do with our Patreon guys. He's a huge supporter of the show, so happy to give you the, uh, the shout out and respect that you deserve, Mr. Slippy. Thanks, Charles. All right, we had two different things, so here's two different scores. Uh, out of five, lunch ladies. How... Uh, <laughs> How many lunch ladies do you give the right burger? Made right? Made right. Made, made right. right burger. JT's Genuine Sandwich Shop, Corey. That was unbelievable. I was jizzing about it the entire episode. You heard it. Um, everything down to the bun was great. The pickle was great. The meat, everything about it was delicious and amazing and made per, they made it right. Yeah. They wow. certainly did make it right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I mean, you guys got to try that. That's a, that's a five, absolutely. That's amazing. Very, very impressed with what they did with that Coney. Um, I obviously went into it. I, it's hard for me to not be, not biased, but like, I went into it with a little bit of hesitation because anytime you get a food from a city that's and you're not in that city, I get worried. <laughs> I just start sweating and panicking. And they delivered, dude, just a triple down the line. Not a homer, but a triple. A damn good score. Uh, the dog was cooked great. It was still Vienna beef, so it was like not Detroit in case meat, it was still Chicago, but I get it, like how are you gonna get Kogels and stuff? Uh, but damn- Kogels? That's what you do to strengthen your twat, right? <laughs> I did three Kogels. Um, very impressed with that, um, very, and I think that was like $4.25, so. Yeah, I didn't even look at the price. I was so amazed by the feasting. Yeah. Um, that's, I think that's kind of what they charge here for them. It's a little expensive, I think, but it's Chicago. I'm gonna go 4.0. Wow. I think that's a damn solid Detroit Coney. And once again, you freaking moron. It wasn't ketchup, it was the delicious grease. Sorry, I have to yell at myself sometimes. Um, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Back at Corey's, uh, cracking a beer, having some something from the frozen food aisle as we do on Fridays, and ending the week strong. So come on back, subscribe to this crazy circus we call a web series, and we'll see you soon. I hope JT likes me more than he likes you because you give it a freaking four. Oh, he will. That's, that's fine. Awesome. Sometimes I need to be Good. second tier. JT has to love you.